Hello and welcome to High Cut Short Clip. In this video I would like to show you how to create own tray panels for the element installation in High Cut and how to save them in the catalog for subsequent insertion in the grid. I already have loaded a tray panel and basically this tray panel is a sheet from Sketch. The most important thing are the variables width and height and with these variables the tray panel can be aligned and it fits itself accordingly. And here not only the sheet but also the studs are defined with HCM constraints. We have the coincidence and the concentricity for the sheet metal flange and also the concentricity for the bores for that stud the studs go with the bores. So most importantly for the insertion is the fitting coordinate system and this can be inserted via the regular standard functions and it later assures the alignment in the grid. When all necessary parameters are defined the tray panel can be saved in the catalog. As it is generally known um, that you can create any desired catalogs and tables in HiCut where you can put down all tray panels. Now we will put the already prepared tray panel down here and with this we can insert it in any grid subsequently. Okay, so now we will have a look at an example. We change the drawing and here in this grid we would insert a tray panel. And as usual we are able to change the grid if desired. Now we will open the configurator and select our stud tray and insert it. As a result we do not only see that the tray panels and its distances have adjusted accordingly but also the studs which have been defined previously with the HCM constraints. The shown example consists of rectangular tray panels and now what can be done if we not only have rectangular but also trapezoidal tray panels. Um, for this we also have options since there is also a sheet from sketch for this and basically the variables X and Y are also responsible for the alignment and similarly to the previous example the tray panel will be saved in the catalog and can be inserted in the grid with the configurator. And also here next to the aluco bond we find our own tray panels and these can be inserted too. So here's the result. Rectangular tray panels in combination with trapezoidal tray panels. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. Bye!